Hey guys, how are you doing today? Um, so Jesus gave me another message today. Um, you know, he's still giving me messages. People had said that, <laughs> oh, he's not giving you any more messages anymore. No, that's not true. <laughs> Jesus caught this one off. And <laughs> anyway, so yes, he's been still giving me messages, but he's also been having me repost things because it's the outline of order of events to come. And it's crazy because, you know, like April 30th, he, he told me to repost April 30th and that was the Minnesota train derailment and the New Jersey bombing and all that happened. And, um, and then last night I got woken up by the Holy Spirit. So I was actually uploading everything and spending hours, you know, trying to work for Jesus and save people or at least spread the word. I have no control over saving people. I'm just, I'm just trying to spread the word and wake, wake his children up. But, um, so last night I was uploading and I, I fell asleep while I was uploading. And then I felt the Holy Spirit wake me up a little after three. And I heard in my head, like the thought popped in my head, my child, you need to upload, finish uploading. <laughs> well, I didn't realize that the May 13th message was because the sandstorms. So that's what's amazing is I didn't know the sandstorms were going to happen today, but Jesus did, which is why I had to get that out to show people, you know, his prophecies are coming true. He wants people to see that so they wake up and know that he's really coming. Okay, guys, here's the message. Um, I claim that Jesus Christ is the son of God. He's also God. He came to earth in the flesh and he bled and died. He shed his blood on the cross for us and he died for our sins and he rose on the third day. Ignore the telegram and the WhatsApp people because they're trying to scam you. June 2nd, 2023, 1 John 1, 5. This is the message which we have heard from him and declare to you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. 1 Peter 2, 3. If indeed you have tasted that the Lord is gracious. John 3, 7. Do not marvel that I said to you, you must be born again. James 4, 3. You ask and do not receive because you ask amiss that you may spend it on your pleasures. Luke 1, 9. According to the custom of the priesthood, his lot fell to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Lord. Ezekiel 15, 4. It said it is thrown into the fire for fuel. The fire devours both ends of it and its middle is burned. Is it useful for any work? Revelation 17, 3. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness. And I saw a woman sitting on a scarlet beast, which was full of names of blasphemy having seven heads and 10 horns. Here's the message. My child, earthquake coming to Alaska sevenfold. It's going to split the fault line. Germany needs to wake up. Russia is going to attack. Do you see all the prophecies being fulfilled right now? Yet you still question my words. Stop attacking my prophets. My patience is running thin. I am gentle, kind, and loving, but you will eat every word spoken. I told you to look at your fruits. What does the fruit of the Spirit look like? Now compare that to what you look like. Every word spoken is what comes from the heart. I'm asking you to examine your hearts right now. I told you my plan. I told you it's in full swing. There's nothing stopping me from coming and picking up my bride. It's finished. It's done. Can you even fathom what I have in store for my chosen ones? It, um, your imagination won't even be able to decipher all that I have planned for you. I told you, delight in me, and I will give you the desires of your heart. Before any word is spoken, I already know what you need. So why do you still not believe in me? Oh, you little faith, your hearts are wicked, and you are not walking in my spirit. I am God. I am gentle loving and kind are you gentle loving and kind to your neighbor are you still mocking and scoffing at your neighbor have you forgiven your neighbor i tell you the truth my wheat and tares are almost done sorting my righteous are stacking up their rewards in heaven and my tares are failing miserably my tares do you truly believe in me is there doubts in your heart remember i know everyone's heart I know everyone's thoughts. I know every word you will speak before you even speak a word. I am precise, forthcoming, and meticulous. 
Every word I speak means something. It's all part of my design, my plan. I told you to have faith. Some of you believe in me with all of your hearts and some of you are seeking whom you may devour and avoiding precious time with me. I told you I want a relationship with you. I'm your father. Why do you deny my love for you? Walk in my spirit and ask me for truths. I love you all. Believe in me. Confess I am Lord and I will save you. The wicked try and deceive. Do you think they are going to tell you they are deceiving you? No, they just continue to lie and speak blasphemy out of their mouths. But my child, you are all going to see the truth very soon. But it's unfortunate. Some of you are going to remain asleep and you won't wake up until after I have come already. I'm sorry, after I have already come. I keep trying to warn you with future events. I keep giving you signs in my word. My people are weary and tired. They are longing for me to bring them home. Are you longing for me to bring you home? Have you looked at the moon or looked up for my arrival at all? I tell you the truth, your pride is going to be your downfall. You won't relearn. You are set in your ways, man's teachings. You rely on your own understandings, and you have never asked me sincerely for discernment. Your faith is weak, and you parade around with your good deeds boasting. Didn't I tell you you can't boast about salvation? It's a free gift. <clears throat> My anointed ones spent countless hours retrieving my messages and professing them to my people. Some of them have given up everything for me. What have you given up for me? Where is your heart? I told you, don't tell your left hand what your right hand is doing. That will be the only reward you will receive. I love you and I'm trying to wake you up. Please wake up, children. My warnings are final. I am at the door and my hour is here. I am your Lord God and I have spoken. Jude 1, 3. Beloved, while I was very diligent to write to you concerning our common salvation, I found it necessary to write to you exhorting you to contend earnestly for the faith which was once for all delivered to the saints. Zephaniah 2, 6. The sea coast shall be pastures with shelters for shepherds and folds for flocks. Habakkuk 2, 5. Indeed, because he transgresses by wine, he is a proud man, and he does not stay at home, because he enlarges his desire as hell, and he is like death and cannot be satisfied. He gathers to himself all nations and heaps up for himself all, all peoples. Almost 3, 5. Will a bird fall into a snare on the earth where there is no trap for it? Will a snare spring up from the earth if it has caught nothing at all? 1 Peter 2.11, Beloved, I beg you as sojourners and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lusts which war against the soul. Genesis 16.8, And he said, Hagar, Sarai's maid, where have you come from and where are you going? She said, I am fleeing from the presence of my mistress, Sarai. 2 Thessalonians 2.7, For the mystery of lawlessness is already at work. Only he who now restrains will do so until he is taken out of the way. Matthew 16, 7. And they reason among them of saying, it is because we have taken no bread. Colossians 1, 5. Because of the hope which is laid up for you in heaven, of which you heard before in the word of the truth of the gospel. John three sixteen. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Ephesians three eleven. According to the eternal purpose, which he accomplished in Christ Jesus our Lord. John 1, 7, this man came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all through him might believe. All right, guys, that was the message for today. You know, believe in Jesus with all your heart. Confess he's the Lord, guys, and he will save you. He, do he doesn't want anyone to perish. Um, so let's just keep praying for the lost. That's all we can do. It's hard at times and trying to keep my strength up. So thank you for everything and the ones that continue to support and lift me up. I appreciate it because it's hard sometimes. Okay, guys, have a blessed night. I love you. God bless.